Este segmento es presentado por Combustibles Velarde. Calidad en cada gota. step out of bounds, you know, if it's a play where I can get in the end zone and make a spark for my team, then that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, you know, I just kind of play off instincts and make the best decision for myself. And, and uh, I felt whenever I made the, the cut back in, inside and ran out with the safety, I knew I was still up and I just had a couple more yards to go. So I just, you know, got myself in the end zone. Um, if it was a different situation, like 10 yards out or if there was more people around, I definitely would have just probably just slid or went down. So it's just kind of just offense. Just, does just the magnitude of the game have any impact on kind of how you navigate in situations like that? No, not at all. I mean, even if we were up 30 points, I'd still be doing the same thing. Sean, with your offense, is, like, you know, how do you describe the style of the Texans offense? Uh, I mean, it's tough. I mean, it's really no style, honestly. We can run the ball, we can throw the ball, we can finesse, we can run downhill, we can do it I mean, pretty much everything. That's the way we built. Um, you know, if we all are on the same page and execute and, you know, understand each situation and see it through the same set of eyes, you know, we're tough to stop. But uh, that's what we got to do on a consistent basis. And we got to continue to fix that throughout the week, starting today. Um, and then, you know, in the meeting rooms and even, you know, outside of, you know, the stadium and, and the facility, we still got to communicate and watch film and, and try to, you know, build that chemistry and, and see it through the same set of eyes. First of all, congratulations about your reaching this level. You certainly deserve it. Uh, last year, it was uh, the last time you, you reached uh, the playoffs and played against the Kansas City Chiefs, it wasn't that good. As opposed to that time, to this time around, what lessons did you learn from that experience for you to apply it against this game and for you guys to reach to the next level, which is a midship game? Um, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is really just kind of just focusing on, on the task at hand. We can't worry about <laughs> next week um, because next week, I promise. So we just take it one play at a time, one snap at a time, and the most important play is always the next play. And the most important, I guess, meeting, or the most important thing throughout the week is the Nets task at hand. And, you know, and we're just going to focus and take it one step at a time until, you know, game time hit, and then we're just going to take it from there. Um, that's the biggest thing. We can't worry about what happened in the past. can't worry about what's going to happen in the future. we got to worry about the moment now and take care of the moment now, and then we'll see what happens whenever that time comes. Deshaun, that time you um, broke down the defense and kind of – told people everything you were seeing on a play, it really went wild because the public doesn't usually see stuff like that. Like, they don't get to see the behind the scenes thing. But I was wondering, did people like within the business, like football people, did anyone reach out to you after that and like say anything about what they thought of you, like giving us a peek behind the curtain? Um, inspired me. Or that you really, you really took a lot from or? I would say, uh, that was definitely just, just one day for John Gordon. Called a coffee bean, um, and Coach Sweeney actually, him, John Gordon, and Coach Sweeney actually uh, gave it to me. And uh, I've been reading, and it. it's about you know just being able to basically, regard, regardless of what environment that you're in, you can bloom where you're planted, and that you're not you're not the water, so you're not the outside. And so if you're a coffee bean, you put a coffee bean in the water, and it spreads throughout you know the water, and it changes the flavor. So. You be the call for being that change the environment that you're in. Don't let the environment change you. Deshaun, when did you meet DeAndre for the first time? Uh, sometime back in high school on a recruiting trip. Yeah. What did you think the first time you met? I mean, I was just amazed. Of course, I was young, going to these college visits, been in a locker room on game day, seeing all these big time athletes, him, Sammy Watkins, Taj Boyd, Andre Ellerton. I mean, all these guys and and. The opportunity, you know, just to be out there and make plays like they're making. Sean Warren was here in town a couple of days ago. He said that he believes that you have Hall of Fame potential written all over you. I know it's a long way down the road, but what does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's dope. I mean, it's, it's definitely a great honor uh, and uh, recognition from a guy that's done a lot for this lead and, and a lot has done, a guy that's done a lot for this community and just being able to, you know, be recognized for that. And, you know, it's definitely, 
a long ways away. I have a lot more to improve on, and I know that he knows that. But it's you know it's pretty cool to you know have guys that encourage me. You can definitely use it as motivation. The other day you said that on the Clemson LSU game, you said you're riding with the real Tigers. So we asked Alex Bregman what he thought about that. And he said he's glad you're pulling for LSU. <laughs> nah, I ain't mess with LSU. We boys, they know where it's at. They know where the real Death Valley is. The real Tiger is. So we ain't worried about no LSU. Uh, we got, yeah, I, mean, I feel like that. the run pass option is something that you need to break that back out because you've had some success with it. Uh, maybe. I can't give you too much information. <laughs> when you watched back your great escape against the Bills, when you should have been sacked, of course you won. What did you see? Um, honestly, I should have got the ball out a little sooner. Uh, I should have went to the field where Kenny was instead of going towards Hop. You know, when it was, you know, both kind of the guy that was over Taiwan was uh, going to fall off versus the, the coverage of Blitz Zero they were doing. And um, but it was just kind of just, you know, I was just expecting at least one guy to come free, and I was gonna buy myself some time. But the other guy came free on the other edge, and I just kind of braced myself. And the guy, I think it was 33, he came and I stepped up and he spun me around. Once I spun around, 58 got caught by surprise, and he tried to hit me, but he hit my back shoulder, and he kind of bounced off of me. It was just like at the same time, I just spun out of it and. I spun out of it, and I saw Tom Wan just kind of sitting there. And actually, he did a good job of really coming towards me instead of running, the field, running you know, vertical. And um, you know, I just gave it to him, and then he just made a great play after that. Is it lucky or blessed? You have yeah, so watching it back, oh. did you say well? Oh, for uh, I mean, for sure. Yeah, it was definitely one of my top plays I've ever made uh, in my career. Um, but for a lot of guys, you know, especially in that locker room, and a lot of people that's watched me grow up and play is. It was like a wild play, but it wasn't a surprise play for sure. Lucky, blessed, or talented, or a combination of those three on that play that she was mentioning. Oh, blessed. I mean, yeah, that was all guys, like that, all guys, you know, ability right there. So you, you said that you probably should have gotten rid of the ball sooner. When you're holding on to the ball, or sometimes you're holding on a little bit too long, is that your instincts? And how can you do that then? If you feel like you need to get the ball out? Um, I mean, it just depends on the course of the game. I mean, honestly, like that play, you know, OB and Tim Kelly and everyone else, <clears throat> you know, trust the decision I'm going to make because of my instinct. So I knew I was going, you know, the consequences behind what I was doing by holding the ball, I was going to get hit. And so, uh, you know, I knew I was going to do that. And, you know, I just made a play. I just knew I was going to brace myself. And for those guys, and especially in that moment of the game, it was do or die. They were actually going to have to both you know, pick me up and bring me down. I wasn't going down in the first contact. So I already made my mind up, you know, during the snap and, you know, for seeing the safety fall off on hop that I was going to have to hold it a little bit longer and try to make something happen, and that's what I did. You have these plays. Uh, we have to go. Uh, Sorry. That's it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Este segmento es presentado por Combustibles Velarde. Calidad en cada gota.